Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the uh, Real Money Auction House today. So you'll see that it's a new feature they gave everyone. 50, uh, 50 Battle.net items, or Battle.net bucks for this. Let me turn down the, the volume here real quick for this. So, um, you can access the auction house down here. There's a few common menus. You can see completed items. I have none completed right now. You can see uh, bids I have. Uh, no winning bids, no outbids. Uh, you can see what items I'm selling, which it doesn't appear to be up to date with the current items I'm, I'm selling. So I'm not sure if some completed and I never got any extra money, or if something happened. Um, not really sure what happened with that. I definitely had two more items listed just a little while ago. And uh, you can search for equipment here. So let's take a quick look and see. Um, you'd select your characters, so you can easily you know search for different equipment. This is my wizard right here. You can search for an offhand, one hand, two hand, or armor. So let's just select the offhand. Um, you can search for all different op option types: mojo, source, quiver. So let's do source here, and then we'll just we'll see what what there is. So. We have uh, some rare sources for the wizard, which are selling for a lot, and just a whole bunch of uh, uh, current uh, ones here. Um, right now, I, I see some issues with this auction interface because uh, it doesn't work all that well, it doesn't seem like. Um, I would say... Uh, there needs to be some, you know, better options for, like, just even search searching on rarity. You don't really see that. It just, um, just has, uh, you know, choices here. And you can't compare this directly to what your character is wearing right now. You can just see the items. So you have to, you know, mentally remember what items or whatever might be better than what you currently have. Um, these uh, current um, methods of choosing is, is pretty weak. It just doesn't uh, really give you the ability to use the auction house to its full potential. I'm not, um, not sure why it's this way. Maybe they're still developing things, but um, there's definitely you know a lot of items listed as well here. And the, the searching abilities here just aren't there for a, a real auction house. Um, maybe they need to have some web interface where you can, you know, do this a little bit quicker than doing it via this in-game menu. Um, so let's do one more thing here. Uh, let's let's start. Oh, here we go. So we can see my auctions that I have for sale. Um, let's just start something else here. So say. Uh, Okay, we're back here. Let me uh, go back here. So let's let's continue looking at some uh, some items here in the shared stash, um, and let's do something. So something that someone may want to buy. Let's do this one: the leather uh, doublet of thorns. So sell item. You can see here listing fee, and there should be help bubbles, but they're not. Auction duration, starting price. We'll just put a buyout price of two. Great auction. So there it goes. And you have up to five minutes to cancel it. Um, hopefully that stays in place just in case you, uh, for whatever reason, don't want that listed or accidentally listed something. Um, and then let's do one more thing where we'll bid on an item. So let's take a uh, one handed weapon, or actually, uh, yeah, let's do one handed. And there should be wands here. Let's just search for them. So you can see, at least for wands, they're all short, sorted by DPS. Maybe later on they'll have like a sorting by uh, item value in gold. Uh, um, you can see some of these look like they've been bid on. So let's just go down here. 
and find a, uh, a high DPS one that has a low bid, which is this guy, Keen One of the Hawk. Well, it wouldn't be too bad, I guess. It's kind of slow already. Let's go past this one and see. There we go. Plus, no, oh, plus cold damage. That's not exactly that great. And we're rapidly decreasing in DPS here, so let's just do uh... this one has an empty socket, so it's a pretty expensive one. Let's um, let's bid on this. Five. Let's confirm the bid. Hit accepted. So we got that, and apparently uh, one of my items sold. Or it uh, or got listed, and it actually charged me a fee this time, which means I went over my three item listing limit, which is apparently three items. So, uh, you know, remember that if you're planning on using the real money auction house. I don't, I don't know if I intend on on really doing that, but um, with the listing fees and stuff, I I'll probably only be listing a couple items a month at max, uh, two or three maybe. You know, maybe if I find a good item, list something that. I could potentially sell, but I'm not really sure, at least with this current interface, how useful this auction house is going to be. I think they're going to have to do some work on it to improve it. Um, which makes me think this was kind of a last minute thing to add on. It doesn't really have a, uh, a fully uh, thought through interface, as far as I can tell. So, there you have it. Uh, Real Money Auction House. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty popular, considering the market for Diablo 2 items. Uh, and hopefully uh, it'll be improved a little bit before launch.